So I've been working on this funny unicorn character and I wanted a way to make the spiral unicorn horn here. Now I could have started with a cone and slowly sculpted these grooves in, but it's much easier if we start with a curve. In order to create a spiral curve, we can go up to Edit Preferences, Add-ons, and this add-on comes with Blender. You just have to enable it. If I type in Extra, we've got extra curve objects there. Make sure that's ticked. You've also got extra mesh objects, which can be quite useful as well. And you might want to take a look at that. But if I close this down now and press Shift A to add, or go up to the add menu up here and under curve, we've got lots of extra options. Under curve spirals, we've got this Archimedean, which seems to be the simplest one to use. That will take you into edit mode when you add it. And you've got a dialog box down the bottom here. Make sure you haven't edited the curve at all. Otherwise this dialog box might disappear. At the moment, it's just a circle and we can increase the steps just here to increase the amount of points in that circle. We've also got the radius growth where it goes outwards or inwards. So if I bring it in, so it goes right to the middle and then increase the height, you can see how we can get a spiraled cone. We can increase the turns, but you have to work out the radius growth to go with those turns. So putting up the turns, you have to change the radius growth. So it takes a little bit of getting used to. And of course you can change the height for the length of this spiral. So once you've got something like this, then we can go to the curve properties down the corner here and under geometry. So we're creating geometry to go with this. Under the bevel, we can increase this and then we can create the spiral I want. Now, if I want to be able to sculpt this, I've got to be careful that they do actually overlap. I'll show you why in a moment. So I'm going to make this a little bit thicker. You might want to vary your settings a bit more in order to get a thinner spiral if you wanted to. But for now, I'll just work with this. Notice also that the caps aren't filled. So we need to tick on that fill caps option to fill those in so we can sculpt on them. Now we still can't sculpt on this yet. We have to convert this into a mesh. In order to do that, we need to go to object mode. So object mode up here, or you can press tab to go into object mode, right click, convert to mesh. Now this is a mesh object. If I go into edit mode, I can start moving around the vertices, but probably easier at this point is to go into sculpting and then I can do a remesh. The remesh will join it all together and just watch out for holes like this. But generally speaking, this is fairly good and we can start going in and editing the shape into some sort of horn with a bit of creativity. And that is how I got to this point where I can start editing this a bit further for my lovely unicorn. Hope that helps.